here and welcome back to the season finale of the address book. I'm here with my friend Jess from SRA. Hi. And we're here in DuPont Circle where we just finished up an amazing lunch at the commissary. Oh, I don't know about you, but my food was absolutely delicious. I know. I really like their quinoa bowl. Well, let's go check out 1633Q. Okay, I can't wait to see it. All right. Well, I won't make you wait any longer. Let's go check it out. Okay, Jess, so here we are in apartment home 404. It's one bedroom, one den, it's roughly 899 square feet. Um, you have this really nice long hallway that leads back into like the living space. You got your master bedroom over here, your bathroom, closet space, the den over here, um, and then just this massive living room. Um, so what are some of your thoughts? Yeah, so when I first walk in, I'm always drawn to a fireplace. Yeah. Like, I would love to have one in my own apartment. Right. Um, but my first thoughts are, this is great for your holiday decorations to really center it around the fireplace, and the corner would be great for the tree. Oh, um, yeah. But, you know, time when it's not uh, the holidays, it's still a great focal point within mm -hmm. the space, so you really want to concentrate the seating around that. I'd love to put a mirror above the fireplace. Right. I think that would be so inviting. And I also love that this place has enough space for a dining table. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes people are tempted to kind of just leave that out, but I think it would really finish off the space. So I'm gonna say to go ahead, get that dining table. Okay. It's gonna be a great place to sit with friends during times of the year like Right, this. exactly. And you have such a nice view of 17th oh, Street yeah. there with all those beautiful windows, being able to just look out. Um, for I know some of the fun events in DuPont. So oh yeah, there's a lot great. to see, right? Exactly. All right, let's go check out this kitchen. So they have some really nice upgraded stainless steel um, appliances and then lots of storage space. And I love the black granite countertops. Yeah, speaking of those black granite countertops, I think it would be really fun to have some brightly colored heat tea canisters or something oh, like that okay. to really make it pop up. All right, yeah, that's a fun idea. Right, and this balcony is absolutely huge. I don't think I've ever seen a balcony this big in an apartment. Oh, let's see it. So, yeah, you can see massive. You weren't kidding, this is insane. Yeah. I love how big it is. I, I feel like it's truly an extension of the rest of the living right. space. You're gonna spend a lot of time out there. Um, one thing that I thought of is they actually make these wood tiles now that interlock and you can place them over the concrete. Oh, okay. So it gives it that really spa, then right, zen garden yeah. kind of feel. Kind of keep, yeah, like the concrete jungle. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I think that would be a lot of fun for this area. Right. Well, let's go check out some more of the apartment. Okay. So the den is actually through the living room here. It's actually a really nice size. So the den is a really great space. I feel like a lot of times if you move into an apartment by yourself or then mm -hmm. with a partner, you maybe don't have a roommate, so you might not think there's a need for an extra room. Right. But I think this den space is so perfect to have a home office, um, set up a desk space, because the reality is a lot of people are working from home now or right. maybe taking work home with them, although we wouldn't like to, but sometimes it happens. That's true, yes. <laughs> and then also, this is a perfect spot for a reading nook. Um, so you could uh, have your comfy chair, mm -hmm. put your cup of coffee and your glasses down next to you. I brought this great um, floor lamp. I know, I love this. Gallery. Right. What I love about it is that for compact spaces, it's perfect because it already has that circular table built mm -hmm. into it. And it also looks really nice. It does, so yeah, it's I a like really great one. piece. I like that one a lot. And then thirdly, you could think about like using this also as a guest bedroom, oh, not okay. setting it up that way all the time, but even if you have a pull-out sofa, they even make chairs now that have a pull-out mattress. Oh, okay. Um, or even if you just have an air mattress in a closet, you right. can think about using it that way. That's well. actually a really nice idea, yeah. All right, and then I know the master bedroom is back through this way. So the space is huge. It is, it's a really nice bedroom side. Um, one thing, you know, bedroom layouts are pretty typical, but one thing I think you want to think about is when you have an architectural element, this happens all the time mm -hmm. in apartments, like a column, make it look intentional, make okay. it look like a design feature, so you could use this little cubby area for your dresser, oh, maybe a vanity okay. here, so it really feels like, you know, it was meant to be. Oh, oh, that's actually a really nice idea, and then you have the nice big closets. Um, I'm not always a huge fan of the mirrors, but I feel like it works and kind of opens the space even more. Yeah, that's sure. true. It, it kind of allows the light to come in, and also you will never be without a floor-length mirror. This is so, true. This is actually you know, a very good point. It. Right. Um, and then we have our bathroom through here. Okay, so that's a nice size as well. Um, the only thing I would add is, you know, just maybe add a few elements like candles or that mm -hmm. kind of thing. You know, who doesn't want to wake up every day and feel like they're, you know, waking up in a spa, gets the mood going right. for the day. Um, so just add a few personal elements like that. All right, 
Well, you want to go check out the rest of the community amenities? Of course. Let's go. So Jess, this rooftop deck is amazing. You have a great view of the monument. You've got a grill, ample seating, these really cool festive lights. Um, and that's just one of the few amenities of this property. You've also got a package closet. It's pet friendly and you have garage parking in DuPont Circle, which is amazing. That is great and just the proximity to everything, this is a definite find. I Absolutely. love it. Three takeaways to remember are a newly renovated boutique style building, a large balcony, and a wood burning fireplace. For more information on this apartment home, check out the description below. And before we wrap up for the season, I just want to bring my crew out here to thank them for all their hard work for making this all happen. Come on out, guys. Without them, none of this would be possible. So, before we end, that's a wrap. Wow, Sarah, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> well, happy, happy holidays! holidays.